Hi everyone, so welcome back to Garage TV. I'm really excited today to be talking about the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. So before we dive deep into this video, kindly take about five seconds if you haven't subscribed to this channel and do that. So kindly subscribe. Okay, so today I'll be talking about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Uh, in this video, I'll do the unboxing, I'll review and give my honest conclusion about this phone. So this is the iPhone 15 Pro Max, which just got released about a week ago and has become available to the public as from today. So let's do the unboxing. I, I really like this packaging. I like how iPhone packages the box. I think today they uh, this time they decided to add this sticker. This where we have the email number, serial number, and other things. And here is the phone. So the phone really looks so nice. The design, I like the design, the color. It's blue in color. Yeah. So these the USB and finally let's see what's inside here. Oh there is just information telling me that I no longer need a physical SIM to set up my phone and this is just the normal iPhone sticker. Let's now start talking about the phone. Okay so now let's dive deep into this phone. So the phone comes in four different colors. We have the white, black, blue, and the natural titanium colors. So iPhone decided to design the phone using titanium compared to other iPhones which are designed with aluminium. And an advantage of using titanium over aluminium is that titanium is lighter. Compared, uh, so meaning that iPhone 15 will be lighter than the iPhone 14 and it makes uh, the screen to body ratio bigger so meaning that we have smaller margins compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max and looking on the side profile we have the power button we've always had the power button on this side we have this the USB type C uh, this year iPhone decided to roll out the USB type C compared to the lightning cable that they had previously on all other iPhone models. So advantages of using Type-C is that it's faster transferring files compared to, compared to the lightning cable and it charges phones faster compared to other to the lightning cable. But an advantage that the lightning cable has over the Type-C is that lightning cable holds the phone firm than the type c but that doesn't mean type c doesn't hold the phone firm besides that you know there's some pride that comes to some people whenever they use the lightning cables but due to eu regulations iphone was forced to use type c and on the side profile on this other side profile we have the volume down and volume a button and here we have the action button which has been changed than other iphone models you know whereby we had the silent mode button which you could switch either down or up but this one is this one can be customized compared to the previous button let's turn it on going on looks so nice let me take a few minutes to set it up okay so 
I'm almost done setting up my phone. So right now it's all about customizing this action button. So by default, it, it comes uh, in silent mode. So you can either choose silent mode, focus, camera, magnifier, accessibility, or no action. So let me choose silent mode at the moment. And welcome to iPhone. So we've already done setting up the iPhone and everything is ready. Let's talk about what most people like about the iPhone. Most people like its camera. People say it's very clear, it's nice. And iPhone 15 Pro Max comes with three cameras and the main camera has 48 megapixel. Uh, it processes images using 24 megapixel compared to the iPhone 14, which processes them in 12 megapixel. That's half what iPhone 15 processes. And when we compare iPhone 14 Pro Max camera and iPhone 15 Pro Max, there's a slight improvement when it comes to image clarity and skin tone. There's enhanced skin tone in this camera. And by default, uh, compared to iPhone 14 Pro Max, you'll find iPhone 15 Pro Max will take images and you can set up portrait even if you did not go to portrait mode, you can go to settings and choose to edit your photos in portrait. iPhone has also introduced the five times zoom, which means that it can zoom things from a, good, a far distance, and which will be so clear. This can also be important for students who like sitting at the back and you can see something on the wall. You'll zoom and see something very clearly. And one of the things that I liked iPhone 14, 15 this year is that right now you can transfer files directly from your port to hard disk, which means that even if you're recording large files, you are taking videos in a movie or something that takes more time and you're recording, let's say in 60 frames per second, you can transfer the files directly without storing them locally. Let me try and share some pictures that, that I'll take using the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Before I take that, let me first take a picture of you. Smile. Indeed, it's good quality. During iPhone 15 launch, they said that they had introduced a new chip, the S17 chip, which is better in performance gaming. So some people like gaming, this might be the best phone to use. And another thing that really impressed me is the fun fact that you can connect your wireless controllers like the PS5 controller to use in gaming. And when another thing they introduce is the emergency services when you're stuck, let's say somewhere in a bush or something of the sort, you can call emergency services using the satellite. This is also a good feature because I know most people won't use it for the moment, but until you get stuck or you get an emergency, that's when you'll find it was. Another thing that really impressed me about the iPhone 15 is precision finding. With precision finding, let's say it's a busy place and you're looking for someone, it will lead you to where the person is rather than having a general radius which will tell you that person is around that big region. And I don't know if precision finding really works in inside buildings whereby we have floors, different floors, but if it really works in mm, such set it will be so nice and iphone has increased the battery capacity for iphone 15 pro max and they say that it can go up to 29 play a video playback which is quite a very big battery which can last you a day and when it comes to storage uh compared to iphone 14 which started at 128 iphone 14 pro max it started from 128 gigabytes this one the minimum you can get is 256 gigabytes for 15 pro max another feature which is really impressive is the fact that whenever let's say you're in a noisy place iphone 15 can really reduce the background noise as much as it can reduce the quality of the sound it really does a good job when it comes to that okay so those are the main 
features I think iPhone really rolled out this year. And there are so many software features when it comes to iOS 17 that they really did. And I'll talk about some of them that really impressed me or caught my attention. An example is live activities. Whenever there are live activities, right now you can see them on the dynamic island, let's say things like scores for games like soccer, you're catching a flight, you can see details on the dynamic island. Besides that, they also updated the contact card. Whenever you call someone, you'll see a nice picture. Yeah, which is really cool. And also they did something when it comes to FaceTime calls. Whenever you call someone on FaceTime and someone didn't pick, you can record a video and send it to them and they'll wait once they check on their phone. This works the same as the voicemail, how voicemail works, but this one is in terms of video. And another thing is, which really is the most interesting thing, is the standby mode. Whenever you put your phone at night or during the day on a stand like this while it's charging, you can customize it, whatever it shows you. It can show you the clock, can show you pictures, different widgets based on what you've set. Yeah, so basically that's what I really liked about the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And since it's made from titanium, as we said earlier on, it has better heat dissipation, meaning that the battery can last longer. And let's go now to pricing. iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at 1,199 US dollars. And you can also add insurance. There's theft insurance. There's Apple Care, which has the normal repairs. And this other one that covers theft. In case your phone is stolen, you can replace it. The Apple Care with theft, I think I checked it. It was about $250. And you need to check if your country is eligible. Besides that, another cost that you'll incur is tax, which is hidden, which is about 115. I'll confirm and put it uh, on the description. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's all. So let's now go to the honest review about the iPhone. I'll talk about my thoughts, starting with, starting with this button, this action button. The action button, it's something that, I can't call it something new, but iPhone has really talked about this button. This button was from older Android phones. Looking at my S8, S8 Plus, which was released in 2017, it used to have the action button, which was known as the Bixby, Bixby button. So this button, some people could customize it. So when I see, I talk about, I see this being introduced on iPhone. I don't think it's something new that iPhone should be proud of. Yeah. And another thing is the, uh, talking about live activities on the dynamic island. This is something that has been there in Android for a very long time. So I don't find it something new or interesting because it has been there. I really want to see something new. Mm -hmm. Besides that, another thing that maybe iPhone should have improved uh, based on pricing, I don't find it bad for pricing because iPhone 14, when it was launched, it was 10.99, while this one is 11.99. And the difference, maybe it's because of storage. iPhone 14 started at 128 gigabytes, while this one is 256. So maybe the hundred dollar difference is because of the storage. Besides that, I think they've really done a good job when it comes to the design, the phone look sleek and the margins, the fact that they've reduced them. The, it, that looks so nice. And Type-C, Type-C depends on someone's preference. Personally, I, I preferred the light, lighting cable because there's some pride that came with the lighting cable. But right now, every other phone is using Type-C. Uh, there's no difference. We, can't, we are all in the same page. So I like, but it's due to EU regulations. So there's nothing we can do about that. And some of the f uh, good things about Type-C is the fact that you can transfer data directly to hard disks, which I liked. 
I'm really impressed by the steps Siphon has really done when it comes to climate control. They've really done a good job. And when during their launch, I heard how they've contributed to my country, Kenya, uh, to maintain the grasslands, which is a good thing. And I think most people don't understand about climate control or the impacts until when we'll be really affected, it's when people will really feel the impact so thank you iphone for doing that but my problem is that during the launch the main things were to talk about the iphone and the concentration was everything on climate control which isn't bad but that wasn't the main agenda and we forgot about talking about iphone so to a point that the iphone become became any other business thank you all who got to this point i really appreciate everyone who listened to my video and i'll be giving out gift cards to the first five viewers for this video the apple gift cards and i'll keep posting regularly and more offers coming up soon thank you all adios